Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. This looks like utter f madness. <laughs> So, you know me, I was just minding my business, smoking my blunt, having a little leprechaun movie marathon. I don't know why I just randomly get in the mood to watch that shit. <laughs> so good. But yeah, let's do another retro react, guys, shall we? The title of this video is Cook With Me Plus What I Ate Today Down 75 Pounds. Got 129,000 views, 2.3 thousand thumbs up. That's more than usual for our girl. So, okay, okay. I don't want to waste any time. Plus, to be completely transparent, these are all going to be pre-recorded anyways. So, like, I can't be too specific now, can I? <laughs> we will be more up to date and whatnot after Monday. Because I'll be back from Vermont after oh and we're also going to be doing the video quarantine tag which i have no fucking clue what that is but we'll see hey guys so i wanted to film hey amber a what i ate today video i do want to say just so you guys can decide if you want to watch this or not there will be eating on this video so if you don't want to see babe that's like every single video of yours so like why are we just now giving like content disclaimers just don't watch I just figured I would give you a disclaimer. So if you don't mind seeing me eat and you don't mind seeing what I'm eating today, then just keep watching. I also want to say that I'm just eating kind of whatever my body feels like it wants to eat. And honestly, girl, bye. When has that ever worked for you? I'm binging. I am successfully losing weight because I feel like I'm eating semi like a normal person instead of like the person I used to be when I was almost 600 pounds. And I'm I wish you guys could see my face right now because I'm just not believing it. Not at all. Not from our girl. Hundreds, <laughs> which is wow it's hard to like grasp but you know every night i have to fight with myself and i'm talking fight with myself to not binge and it's hard it is so hard but somehow i manage and it's definitely helping a lot with me somehow she manages i don't think she was necessarily doing that well at this point because like i'm pretty sure she said that she still binged like pretty often but she still somehow was losing weight this was also literally the weeks leading right up to her cancer diagnosis so like i think sis was just really fucking sick <laughs> normal amounts if you will because obviously i'm not gonna be perfect and another disclaimer i'm not like a healthy guru so this is just what i'm eating today it's honest what i ate today video i'm very honest in these types of videos i know a lot of people don't believe them when i make them which is really weird but i mean it is i mean how are we supposed to believe you girl when you just half of the time forget to film like what the fuck <laughs> Now let's get into it. I really hope you guys don't fall. You're currently sitting on top of a coffee maker. So for my first meal, I'm gonna have... I... What happened to the fucking dry pod, dude? I love how makeshift she is. MacGyver Lynn. A bagel with buffalo-style chicken breast with... This is chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm also gonna have a little bag of crunchy Cheetos. I love these little bags because it goes to show, show like how little serving actually is. Because if I had a normal big bag, I'd eat half of it. Maybe. <laughs> She's like... It shows me how small things actually are like babe that's a normal serving <laughs> that's normal thing and that's a binge episode and we don't want that so i'm gonna make this and then i'll show you guys when it's done okay so here it is literally nothing special but super delicious so i'm actually gonna say the times in the videos so you guys can see like what times i'm eating right now it's 8 52 a.m and i'm about to take me a bite mm -hmm. super good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate when she eats, dude. <laughs> She's so annoying. Of so course. I, in high school, Fiji was the only water I would drink. I wouldn't drink any other water. Aren't you so bougie? Fucking trailer park limb. No tap water. No water from restaurants. No other bottled water. Only Fiji. It was so weird. To me, it's one of the, if not the, very, very, very best waters. Very best waters. There's also natural electrolytes in it, so that's good. And I usually drink lukewarm water. Usually. I mean, nine times out of ten. But I had this in the fridge, so it's nice and cold. But anyways. I like my shit cold. Cold as fucking ice. Oh my god. Lukewarm water? Ew. Tastes thicker. I'm gonna finish eating. Again, 8.52. Um, I feel like telling you guys the times is kind of cool. 
I wish more people would do that in a wet night in a day video. Um, I'm not really doing IF or anything in the moment, just because I fixed my sleeping schedule. I woke up at 5 a.m. <laughs> okay, I guess I am doing fasting a little bit because this is, this is the first time I've ate and I've been awake for like four plus hours. So, okay. Like I said, I just let my body choose when it's hungry without like binging, if you will. Like, I need to learn the difference between, okay, like I'm actually hungry, I should really eat something versus like, oh, this is boredom hunger or emotional hunger, stuff like that. So, anyways. She's still fucking working on this shit to this day, dude. Three years later, and she still doesn't know what her hunger cues are. Like, what the fuck? I'll see you guys at my next meal. Okay, so it's 1.06 p.m., and I'm feeling a little hungry. And instead of making a meal, I'm just going to have one of my Luna bars. And I think the one I'm going to choose is the chocolate. Jesus, why does she have so many of those? What the fuck? Coconut Luna bar, which is super delicious. And this is what it looks like. Fancy. Wow, thank you so much. What time did she say it was? Okay, so it's 1.06 p.m. and I'm feeling a little hungry. And instead of making a meal, I'm just gonna have one of my Luna bars. And I think the one I'm gonna choose is the chocolate dipped coconut Luna bar, which is super delicious. And this is what it looks like. Fancy. I mean, I know I don't have like a regular eating pattern like the your usual person. But, like, if I had all that in the morning, I would not be needing something by 1 o'clock. That's for damn sure. Mm. These are so good. Okay. So, I'm going to eat this and I'll see you for my next meal. So, it is 4 o'clock. I'm about to make my next meal. I'm going to make pasta. I'm going to use elbow macaroni. You guys have seen. I'm obsessed. And blazing buffalo chicken sausage. If you guys have a Kroger near you, get this. Best. True talk, dog. All she should be eating is the first two things and that's it. She really wants to lose some weight, but sausage I have ever had. It would also starve that tumor growing in her. And I'm gonna put broccoli in it. Um, obviously seasonings. I'm also gonna add tapatio for some more spice, minced garlic. I will show you as I go. But the first thing I'm gonna do is boil some water for the pasta and chop this up. So I have the um, chicken sausage cooking. You don't need a lot of seasonings because this is super flavorful. So I just added onion powder. A little bit of onion flavor and some pepper we have the pasta going yeah so i have the pasta strained i always do it inside of something like that because doing it in the sink absolutely repulses me and over here repulses her Ew. although that's actually a good con like contraption so that you can save the pasta water i know i try to save a little bit put it into the sauce we have the broccoli now kneading and marrying the sausage um i also girl what the minced garlic as well so here it is completed i added tapatio obviously and here's my bowl i'm excited to try it y'all bruh her mm. can't tell me the girl loves food she just loves eating like it does not matter what that is slop that is fucking slop why i am so tired right now i actually feel like I could fall asleep while eating. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really trying to fix my sleeping schedule. <clears throat> and I only got five hours of sleep last night. The night before it was three. The night before it was zero because I wanted to stay up for like 36 hours. So, girl, what? What fucking sense does that make? In a little over three days, I've gotten eight hours of sleep in total. I'm crashing tonight for sure. So, here. Okay. What the fuck? Go. Try it out. Mmm. Spicy. Love spice. Mm. Tapatio. If you guys like spicy stuff and you like using hot sauce and you've never tried tapatio, thousand million percent recommend. This looks so disgusting, dude. 10 out of 10. Recommend. I'm not going to follow that recommendation. Zachary Michael can go along copying your slop buckets, but I'm not going to fucking do that shit. Hell no. That's so funny. When I'm filming a video, I always say, mm, when I eat something good, I don't do that in real life. I promise. Girl, bye. <laughs> I bet you do your little dance and you go, mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, get your cat off the table. <laughs> I just thought of Cutie Beauty when she says that her cats are beezing. It is the cutest thing. And I was just said, oh, where do your beezing? That's funny. Um, I'm not going to criticize her for talking about Beauty Beauty back then. Because, like, three years ago, they were talking occasionally. And, like... You know, they were kind of defending each other here and there. But that went south real quick. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, this is so flavorful. You guys are looking at it and you're probably thinking, that looks so bland. For some reason, a lot of people say, it's like there's no middle ground. People are always like, oh my god, her food looks so seasoned. She doesn't need all that seasoning. It probably tastes so gross. And then people are like, oh my god, that's so bland. That looks so gross. Well, it's just because you use the same seasonings for everything. So like, yeah, it does look gross. 
and it is unseasoned. Like, your slop literally looks like fucking dog food, dude. Probably tastes like water. I don't know, what? I mean, back when you would cook everything in water, yeah. That hurts me up. It hurts me up. Like, it was so funny. I was cooking this air went through the kitchen. He couldn't take his eyes off it. I was like, what? Does it look good? Girl, I doubt it. He was probably like, what the fuck is she making now? Like, what the fuck is this? I was gonna offer him a bowl. That's what I do. Every single time I cook, I'm holding this up so you guys can see it. I was gonna offer him a bowl, but then I said, fuck it. I'm hungry. Um, I guess I don't need to, though. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, every time I cook, and I feel like he's gonna like it, I always tell him to get some, but he doesn't do spice, so... No. It's like when you look at it, it I bet he don't. Mm -hmm. Spicy at all. But then it's buffalo sausage with the tapatio. Like, my tongue is hammering. Mm. I mean, if it's got Amber Lynn's mouth heating up, then you know it's spicy. So good. I'm almost positive. I'm gonna get another bowl after this, and I'll definitely show you guys. Girl, I bet you are. Oh, that's cute. So I don't know if you guys know this little trick. Um, when people do mukbangs, if you have the food closer to the camera, it looks bigger than what it is. But then when you move it, the bowl is not that big. Watch. It looks huge. You guys are probably like, oh my god, there's so much food. And then you're like, oh. Wow, Amberlynn. Thank you for explaining basic fucking depth perception to us. <laughs> god, dude. She's got to be so fucking bored in that house all day. Just one of those regular small bowls. Bowls not small. Normal size, if you will. Sorry, I'm just laughing because I just noticed something I probably shouldn't say anything. And, um... I want to know how she gets through the day. Like, goddamn. She must be so fucking bored all the damn time. I've never done it before, but... What I did was, with the broccoli, I cooked it in the microwave. And then, I cooked it on the stove. So good. It honestly made the broccoli a million times better. Because frozen broccoli is kind of like... Not the greatest. Doesn't taste very good. But cooking it on the stove actually made it really good. Oh, wow. That's incredible, Amber. I like that. I was so hungry before I made this because I woke up at 5 a.m. So I think that's the reason I didn't eat for so long that I was just like, okay, I'm like, sorry, I'm at this point. Mm. Girl, that sandwich should have been fucking enough for you. I forgot. I also added some butter. People are going in the comments. She didn't have butter. I mean, I'm losing weight. <laughs> Don't fucking know. Well, wait, we do know how, but... <laughs> Girl, it wasn't your fucking pasta mukbangs that was doing it. That's for damn sure. Just imagine how much I used to eat. Because she wasn't even using, like, chickpea pasta or anything like that. Like, shit with actual vitamins and protein in it. She was just fucking <laughs> using regular ass pasta. And this is just so gross, dude. Sometimes it's hard for me to, like, wrap my head around it. I'm like... I used to eat so much and didn't even, like, realize it. Babe, you still do. <laughs> so crazy. Crazy. Anyways. I think Becky's taking a nap. I don't blame her. I'm gonna finish eating this. Um, about another bowl. Or whatever I eat next, you'll see. So, I decided not to have more because I'm so full. <laughs> like. Full. She's gonna eat those later. No words. Oh, by the way. I do not use the whole thing of macaroni, as you can see. This is the one that I use. I use about half. So that's four servings of that. That's still a lot, girl. So I'm just gonna save the rest, and that gives me two more meals. Oops. I feel like I'm that looks like a lot more than half. I can't believe I thought I was gonna have more. Okay, you guys, so the last. Uh, I can. I have is. This Yasso, it's chocolate chip cookie dough, it is frozen Greek yogurt, and it's so good. So, I'm gonna open it. She definitely ate those other pastas. You guys see what it looks like? Um, if you're counting calories or anything, these are only 100 calories. Look how good it looks. And it's pretty healthy. I mean, it's not like a big thing of Ben and Jerry's. I actually used to eat these a lot back in the day, and there's other flavors. Um, the two that I bought was this one and mint chocolate chip, because mint chocolate chip is actually my most favorite ice cream. So, if I can have it in a semi- I'm, I don't know. I gotta be in the mood for mint chocolate chip. Wait, I'm totally gonna do it. I did not end up having another bowl of pasta. If I did, I would've showed you guys. Um, what, what other updates do I have? Oh, I had a can of Diet Coke, caffeine free, because caffeine, can't do it. I'm so tired, you guys, I'm gonna be honest. So, I'm gonna end <laughs> She's so tired from doing absolutely fucking nothing all damn day. I'm gonna edit it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I almost forgot to say the time. It is 9.39. So, I already started eating it, but it's 9.39, so.
Anyways, okay, bye guys. That was so annoying. Hold on, the girl who couldn't afford to eat in her childhood only drank Fiji water. That's usually how it is, honestly. I struggled with an eating disorder for many years and I've lost 223 pounds so far. It isn't easy, but you got this. Don't give up. Is the eating disorder the gaining part or the losing part? Because I feel bad congratulating 223 pounds off. Unless that's the good thing, then go you. That's great. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, dude. <laughs> You deserve to eat healthy. All is not lost. There is still hope. Don't give up. Never stop wanting more for yourself. Proud of you for making it to the 400s, AL. Keep fighting and do your best to stay healthy. Today with Teacher Lynn, we got to learn that things appear smaller as they get further away from the camera. Perspective is mind-blowing. <laughs> I'm just eating whatever my body feels like eating. That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it plays out for her. <laughs> Eric isn't walking by looking at your food and thinking, damn, that looks good. He's thinking, what nasty concoction is she cooking this time? <laughs> That's exactly what I said, dude. She called not eating for four hours hours fasting <laughs> oh good lord she's a fucking mess dog so this is quarantine tag Fifth. wow <laughs> what the fuck dude Fifty-nine thousand views that's literally like a 100k drop that's wild 1000 thumbs up that's fucking wild dude oh my god i don't was this something in the last video? No, because everyone was fucking praising her. So what's this? Hey guys, so I thought I would throw it back to the old style of YouTube and do a tag. I saw some other people do it and I was like, okay, I've done a few tags. Oh, uh, this is probably why. No one gave a flying fuck about this, that's for sure. I figured this would be actually a really good one to do. It is the quarantine tag, which I might be a little late on the ballgame because all of a sudden, you know, states are opening as of right now when you're making this video. And, um... I don't understand the thought process and I don't agree with it, but that's me. That's me and my thoughts. My thoughts don't always matter. So, I'm gonna... Often, they don't, Amber, to be honest with you. <laughs> 17 questions, I think it'd be really fun if you were watching this. I tag you. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in the past where YouTube first started and they're like, I tag you, I tag blah, blah, blah. Okay. So question number one is what's the thing you miss slash wish you did before? So the thing that I miss is hanging out with friends. I miss being able to just leave the house. I miss being able to go out to eat. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh my god. Girl, of course you fucking... <laughs> that face of course you fucking miss going out to eat biggie of course you do i mean the only reason you hung out with people was to go out to eat like you know that's your whole fucking life you like going out like what do you go and do you don't actually go do anything other than roll around walmart or huff and puff around target or tj maxx for like 20 minutes before you're tired like what the fuck do you do girl even now, three years later, that's still all you fucking do. People miss that more than you think because it's more than just food, obviously. It's just, it's the atmosphere. It's, I usually always want to eat with friends and Becky and it's just a way to hang out with people and sit around and talk. Obviously you can do that at home as well, but not right now. Um, what I wish I did before. Sure, girly, cause you can't be on like FaceTime or anything with your friends. She's so bad at like friendships. And I mean, I don't really have much place to talk. I'm not that great at friendships either. But, god damn. TJ Maxx. <laughs> because I have been planning to go to TJ Maxx for a while and buy a new purse because sometimes I itch for a new purse and I wish I would have done that and I didn't. That's okay. Next question is, what's the first thing you're doing when this is over? Hang out. See, literally fucking TJ Maxx. Like, what the fuck? 100%. I am hanging out with all my friends because I miss them. There are a couple groups of friends that, you know, we've been talking and we're just like, I wish we could hang out. You know, there is that option of... Bro, who? You literally only hang out with Dana and Destiny. That's literally it. Maybe Becky's got some friends, but I'm sure they're not talking to you. Them being able to come over. People are doing it. People are still doing it. I go on my Snapchat and there are people that I follow who are still hanging out with their friends and doing these like get togethers and I just don't agree with it. That's just me. Um, more than anything, I'd love for my friends to come over and stay for like however long. And I just, I don't think that's right right now. So definitely hang out with friends. What's the hardest part about social distancing? I am putting myself in Becky's shoes and I'm going to say the fact that she can't be with her mom right now because I feel like that's really important and it's just, it's... It's not safe. Um, they talk on the phone as much as possible, and I like that, but it's just, that is by far the hardest part. Or probably things like people's weddings being canceled. That's sad. Or like really big moments, graduation, prom. That's, that's really hard. Um, people who lost their jobs. It's, it's a lot. I mean, yeah, my graduation, I graduated right as the pandemic was fucking starting up. 
super great. We were all supposed to get like our own, not like personal gallery showing, but Pratt would put on and send out to like their huge mailing list for our shows. And it would be like two or three students per show. It was like the last three or so weeks of school and my show got canceled out because of it. They didn't, like, find a way to fucking make it up to us or anything. Like, l- let's just say we I turned into a bit of a Karen to the school. That's neither here nor there. I, Mama still got her degrees. That's all that matters. <laughs> Describe your mood in one word. Worry. Spotify or Netflix? Bitch, I'm Netflix. I'm what? Netflix. I'm 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 Netflix. Bruh, even this far back, she's still just fucking talking about that, but shit. I have been listening to her for years, um, seven years or more. Um, I remember that's, how I found her out. That's ridiculous. I have literally never heard of this girl until fucking Amber came along. Because I was watching a commercial and her song was on it. And I was like, who the heck? Who the heck is that? Obsessed sense. Um, so yeah. probably something by Banks because all her songs are boss. I've listened to them over and over and over. Um, last show you watched... Oh, what's it called? Secret Life of the American Teenager? Like, what am I doing? I'm running out of shows, for sure. Got a quarantine ritual? Crying? Panic attacks? Being moody? That's, that's about it. Oh, her. girl, bye. Shut up. No one wants to fucking hear it. Sweatpants or leggings? I wear leggings, like, all the time, but the most comfortable is definitely sweatpants, so I'm gonna go with that. Anything you want to achieve during this quarantine? I want to achieve just sticking to how I was before. You know, it was hard in the beginning. Girl... I- that's the last thing you should want. You should want to change as much as possible. Like, and she's like, I would like to just stay the same, please. <laughs> That's it. No growth for me. I didn't really film. I was too scared to film. I was so bombarded with emotions and fear that I just, I really couldn't do anything. So I just want to go back to my routine in the sense of I still want to film. I want to act like this isn't even happening, which I know I should be. But it's like, I just start to worry too much. So I guess I just want to achieve sticking to... My YouTube, I feel like that's really important because it also distracts me and stuff like that. What's your quarantine snack? I mean, I don't really have one, to be honest. What scares you the most? Millions dying. That is probably what scares me the most. Empath Lynn. Because if that's the case, then someone you know, someone you know is going to pass away from this. And I don't like thinking about it. Are you reading? If so, what chapter are you on? I'm not reading. I definitely need to get into reading again because I have a lot of novels I can read and I have a lot of graphic novels I can read. Who's the last person you spoke to? Becky. What's one non-tech thing you can't live without? Becky, Twinkie, Wasabi, Rarity, do those count? <laughs> um, what's your battery level at on my phone or me as a person? Because my battery level as a person, zero, maybe 1%. Ain't that fucking bleak. This was right before her cancer diagnosis. On by 1%, like, let's be real. My phone battery is probably maybe 70 or 60, like, around there. The last question is, is there any silver linings in this? I feel like that's... Okay, first of all, before I answer, the lighting is horrendous. You guys are sitting in front of a... No, I like the cozy sea witch vibes. I love this. Beautiful window. And usually the lighting's pretty decent, but it is raining. It's gonna be storming soon, and it's super dark. Bro, I would love to raid her candle sets, though. Amber, reach out to me. Shoot me a message or an email, something. I'll take some of those wax melts off your hands. I won't buy them from you, but, like, I'll take them off your hands for sure clouds out there no sun in sight i don't even know how it's peeking through the freaking clouds right now to make daylight because they're the clouds are dark so i do want to apologize about that um but we're just gonna have to continue on any silver linings in this what i've been thinking lately and what i've been talking to my friends about is that after this is all over i feel like a large part i'm gonna say something real controversial i don't think the pandemic did enough to be honest with you i think (laughs) It did not do enough, in my opinion, and it did not affect the right people. That's all I'm going to say. People might learn to be more compassionate. I feel like people might start taking... Did that happen to you, Amber? Hmm? Did you find your sympathy bone all of a sudden because of the pandemic, and then you somehow lost it again, I guess? Things like the flu, more seriously. More people... Yeah, she doesn't do that. (laughs) She'd still be out touching everything while she's sick, like girl bye you never took the flu fucking seriously they'll be cleaner i feel like they'll start cleaning more you know washing their hands more this time has brought not only the usa together but the whole world together girl bye as fuck it did we're all going through this together and it's so scary because sometimes it feels like it's never gonna end i look at the numbers and 
I just, it's unbelievable that they are opening states. And I know a lot of people want their job back. And I know a lot of people missing their friends. A lot of people missing their family. Or, <laughs> oh, there's people who say that like nail salons are essential. And I just, I have my opinions. I do not agree with that. I just, this isn't going to end. This isn't going to end anytime soon by opening states. And it's so scary. And sorry, I was fixing my nose right <laughs> I just have a lot of opinions on it. Um, another silver lining is pollution is better. The, I feel like nature in general just feels happier because we're all indoors. <laughs> like, you know, a lot of us are indoors. There are a lot of us not listening, but a lot of us are indoors. And I feel like nature is just living its best life. I feel like animals are probably more at peace. Families getting to, like families that like live together, like um, parents and brothers. It was so fun just driving around all over the place during the pandemic, dude, not having to interact with fucking anyone. And like just the roads being empty, dude. Everywhere, so it was just empty. You could drive through New York City and it was just empty. Oh, it was so nice. Because there are some, like, especially on TikTok, there's this family I watch who are doing um, quarantine Olympics. Love that. And you can tell they're all quarantined together. Time like. Love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bringing people also together. But then it's like they're sweet because it's also bringing other people like farther apart. You guys, it's scary. And now my. I was doing so good. I wasn't thinking about it at all. And then I filmed this video. Girl, you're going to fucking go down a spiral. Now she's going to binge and blame it on us. <laughs> I just figured why not this is something we're going through right now the questions aren't so like deep but this last one is what makes you start thinking and i have some. girl that sounded deep that's the last one Indians, you guys you want to believe but i don't want to offend anyone i just i just want this girl when the fuck do you care about that so people can get their jobs back i don't want any more people getting falling ill i don't want any more people passing on I actually know a couple of people from my past, not that I know them now, it's just I knew them in my past, like high school or whatever, or I used to work with them years and years ago, who, actually one person who had, who got it, who got the virus, and they're now better, thank God. Um, a friend from high school, her mom actually is hospitalized from it. It's, it's almost like out of sight, out of mind, the less you think about it, the less you have to worry, but then when it's like in your face like that, you start to really understand that this is really happening, it's really going on, and I know a lot of people have their like thoughts where they're like, this isn't real, this is just the media, da -da. but then when you start realizing that people that you know are getting it, or people that you know, know someone who got it, it really opens your eyes to this is really happening, this is a real thing that we're struggling with, and I just hope you guys are healthy at home, and I know it's hard. Fucking poly Lynn. I don't give a fuck what her opinion is on it. I mean, I think it was overplayed, and I also think that it was underplayed at the same time from, like, both sides. You know, like, there are some people that just take things to the extreme no matter what their political affiliation is. So, like, it's why a good education fucking comes in handy so you can filter through the bullshit from both sides. Because Amber's just... Oh, my God. <laughs> sometimes you can't prevent what happens in the world and i wish we could but this is a time to be more compassionate it is wild to me that there are still just like negative things happening online like online bullying and things like that i'm just like oh babe that's never gonna go away <laughs> never gonna go away the fucking kids on tiktok ruthless they're all assholes <laughs> what we're going through right now <laughs> like this is a time for peace and harmony um and just positive vibes you know I can go on. Positive I can vibes. COVID-19, positive vibes. I feel like. So I'm just going to end this now. Again, I tag you if you're watching this. Um, and I know there are some YouTubers who watch me, so you better do this. I will be watching you very close. Okay. I mean, I kind of low-key did it alongside you, I guess. So, like, fuck off. <laughs> you don't have to do it. <laughs> Anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Lovely, Amber. I thought I would throw it back. I damn near choked on my lunch. Don't scare me like that, girl. Could you imagine if she just started, like, f Hands on the knees, twerking. Oh my god. Amber, I don't agree with people who think the virus is a hoax. Also, Amber, the earth is flat. <laughs> I hope people will be cleaner. I didn't wash my hair for two months. <laughs> it's definitely longer than two months, too. She had, she probably had COVID fucking living in her hair. And mold and shit. Remember when Amber was super offended that people didn't think she was affected by the lockdown because all she does is go out to eat and shop? Now it's all, what do I miss the most? Going out to eat and I'm craving a new purse. <laughs> she can make any situation about her. This has him impacted her life abs probably the least. She never left the house anyways unless it was Walmart and she only misses friends because she missed Destiny. Spare me. I miss being able to go out to eat with friends and Becky. That was cold, Amber. I've never met an empath who says I'm an empath, and yes, just because you obsess about the news about COVID-19 doesn't make you an ep 
epidemiologist. I don't know. That's a big word. That's a SAT word. What is hilarious is the fact she is so scared, upset, sad, nervous, etc. about this pandemic, but this girl has ate her way to equal five people, but that does not phase her, lol. Bro, that's wild. <laughs> More people will be cleaner, coming from the girl who literally touches every single thing at Walmart but doesn't buy it. When quarantine is over, you should change your social gatherings from food-based to hobby-based. It might help with your food addiction if joy isn't only associated with eating true my cousin who is a nurse got it she fully recovered within three weeks she's 28 years old if anyone wanted to know the age she said it was a hell of a bug to kick but she got through it i think i had covid like multiple times and each time it affected me very differently it's important to remember that even during these tough time tough times rain and petals are still eavesdropping governor lynn has a lot of opinions about quarantine <laughs> girl acting like she don't quarantine every damn day of her life funerals are, are especially hard right now people can't grieve collectively that's true they were doing like just mass burials Bro, that's so wild. We're all going through this together. Spare me. Your life hasn't changed all besides the fact you can't go to Cheesecake Factory. When you're practically bedbound, besides the occasional trip to Walmart and out to eat, you are in quarantine. Nothing has changed for you, sis. We're all in this together, so let's ignore that everyone is investigating China and Amber has still been going to Becky's mom's house despite knowing she's considered vulnerable. Well, Amber was considered vulnerable too, so. There's a couple group of friends i want to hang out with destiny and dana aren't two separate groups i mean it could be they're big enough what's your battery level at on my phone or as a person wow a poet <laughs> oh we read a bunch guys damn but anyways yeah i will get this edited and scheduled out for you <laughs> um you guys should be seeing this one on I think this is just like a safety buffer one for Tuesday, but I'm not sure. I think so. But yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Um, let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.